Hello YouTube, this is TJY Productions here. Um, doing this video for CSX 2057. Um, I think he's figured it out by now. I'm not sure. I haven't checked. Um, I just want to thank him actually, because because of him, I bought this game a while ago, and it's awesome. If you want a good train simulator, Run 8 is the one to get. Um, so much detail in terms of technical stuff. Um, it's it's incredible. Anyway, he found that when you open Run 8 in the main thing and um, uh, go to the Mojave sub and you click Barstow and you run the simulator... When it loads, hopefully it will work for me. Yeah, this is my using Open Broadcaster, and I've had a few issues with high encoding, which I don't really know how to fix. Looks like it's doing all right after I redo this. Come on. I keep having that problem. I haven't quite figured out the solution, but I hope it's pretty evident here that something very important is missing. What might that be? Oh, well, where's the track at? This keeps saying high encoding, and I haven't figured out how to fix it yet, but I'm going to drop myself out of here. Bye. Maybe that'll help. No track. No signals. No signals and no track. Um, so, how do we fix that? Whoops. Simple. Open your options, and you're going to want to go to the other tab. Um, so, what happened is we loaded in the Mojave sub, which is from Bakersfield to Hinkley, and the point passed. Um, so, Barstow even though it's part of the hobby sub is part of the Barstow Yermo thing which didn't load because it obviously only loads one at a time so to fix that you can open F1 your options go to the other tab and click the Barstow Yermo which is where we're at Barstow and hit merge and you will see in the top left that it's loading the track database and then the track database is loaded. So now we have signals up above and track underneath of us. You can do the same, you can connect the needles sub as well as the cajon sub if you have it. I don't. Um, you don't want to connect something that's not connectable like the CSX A line or the Selkirk yard which are I don't even think those two are connectable but they're out east not California so that's how that works and then we can run trains from Bakersfield to Barstow and through Barstow and on to Needles so that's how that works it's pretty simple um, CSX 2057, just thought it was like broken, I think. Um, but it's not, it's perfectly fixable. Um, and I guess it makes it a little quicker for the game to load initially, and then you can choose afterwards which one you want. So, I haven't decided yet. Maybe I'll buy the Cajon just to complete the thing, but it seems like a lot of work for me. I'm cheap cheap and Christmas coming up I 
trying to save money. So, yeah, I think this is doing better since I took my face out of it. I haven't been really paying attention because I can't really tell. But um, updates myself. I bought the SD40-2 pack. I might try and show that off a little later. Um, as well as obviously the needles sub. <coughs> Excuse me. I think I would like the two bay covered hopper pack. Um, as well as piggyback one. Sorry, just so I can like know. Let's keep this right there, just to make sure it's still functioning. Okay. I think the auto racks would be cool too. Maybe auto racks one too. So I do. I contemplate my life choices. Cheap forty dash twos are nice, but. I've actually, in this game, I've actually liked the GE's, the ES locomotives best. And I hate saying that. I don't like to say that. But it's kind of true. I have Mojave sub. Obviously, you have to have that. Cone sub I might end up getting later. I have it for Train Simulator 2016 through Railworks, but it's not, like, this awesome. That is quite the hump there in Selkirk Yard. The Barstow hump is not quite as harsh. But, yeah, I like it. So, that's it. Um, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, like I said before, if you've had comments, suggestions, things you want me to see, things you want to see me do, um, I am more than happy to give it a shot. I don't have a lot, um, but I got some stuff, so I mean, I can try and make stuff happen, but. I don't promise a whole lot because, like I said, I only have the uh, SD40s and obviously I think these are two base based on how these scrunch together. I don't have those. Get rid of that. I don't like that. What else is in here? I know I have the... Turn on a UP train. Yeah, that one works. Yeah, I think the these are the funnest to run. But that's just me. I'm more of an EMD guy, in all honesty. When it comes down to my actual uh, choice, it's EMD. All the way. Which I guess I can uh, show off my new stuff. Um, so there's this guy, there's this guy, I think it's this one, and this one, but the BNSF one doesn't have wheels. Cargo Ag is the one. I guess that wasn't the right BNSF one. Maybe it's two. Conrail looks nice. Um, BNSF or the BN one. I like the BN one. The horns different in my opinion. I don't know if I like it. It seems like it 
comes off weird. Like it, it's just very blunt. Um, I still think I like this. I still think that one's my favorite, but that's just me. So one of these BNSF ones is the one that I have. Uh, it's two. Uh, yeah, but that's my problem. It's missing the the wheels. And I think it has the. D oh wait, what? Why is this saying Conrail still? I didn't think it recognizes that this thing exists. Oh, that's because that. I am a huge fan, though, of the startup. Check this. Oh, come on. That drives me nuts. But it just sounds so cool. Except when it goes to idle, it, it kind of, like, just dies. Like it just gets there. Like that. I'll do that jump. The other cool thing is here. When I throttle the forward, it changes. Control back to reverse. It's kind of cool. What's missing? Everything else. That's what I do when I get bored. Side. This is the distance counter, speedometer. Um, this will be the and the train device information as well as another distance counter. Um, Sander switch. A lot of these I don't think physically work. Like, I mean, obviously the levers do, but the headlight switches. I don't know what that one does. Must be nothing. So, yeah. Start and stop breakers are all the way up here. What is that? Oh. <laughs> Reduce stretch braking. Okay. Where's the stop button? Somewhere. 
One of these has got to be the off button. I have yet to figure out where it's at. The emergency stop. So the unit is isolated. Now what? Man, they go crazy for uh, screw it. Just do this the easy way. That works. So those are my units. I like them very much. Okay, for real this time. Thank you guys for watching. If you have suggestions, please let me know. I'm gonna go upload something. Bye.